Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Another episode of Try Hack Me. Let's try this again. I tried recording this first time didn't work out. But today is gonna be upload vulnerabilities, the last room for to complete web fundamentals path. And I think I'm gonna split this into a two-part video. Quite pretty long, so uh hold on, terminate let's okay so let's get right into it so task one getting started already loaded my start machine the attack box and as you know guys please read through each task to get a full understanding this video is i'm just going to show you how to answer the questions so already loaded Let's get right into it. Uh, show split view. So we're gonna load the Linux command box and Firefox. So answer your questions below. Configure your host files for the task as per the instructions above. So today we're gonna set so on Linux. So we're gonna create a host file. And we're gonna copy this and clipboard it. So space, paste, exit, save. All right, done. So your IP address might be very much 10.10.60.5. It says sudo, but it's already root, so you don't need to do sudo, but you can do it if you like. So let's go on task two, introduction. Talks about different type of vulnerabilities, overriding, uploading, bypassing client and server side. It says read and understand the above information, click correct answer. And let's go to task three, general mythology, and as required, read the general mythology. It talks about installing GoBuster. If you load the attack box, there's already GoBuster right here. So read through that, complete it. Let's go to task four overriding existing files. So this is. Now let's put this into practice. Open your web browser and navigate this website. So let's go type HTTP slash slash overwrite dot upload THM. And your goal is to overwrite a file on the server with and upload your own. What is the name that image file can be overridden? Hint, check the source code. So let's close this out, close this out. Let's expand on this. Now you follow the example. It says right click the source code. So an example is a Spaniard jpg so let's right click and this one is the mountain so the question is what's the name of the image file can be overridden it's a mountain so overwrite the image what is the flag we receive so we're going to follow the example spaniard so Let's type Spaniards. Except all, oh, let's go images. And let's click this one. Let's right click, save image as. So we're going to rename it to mountains. We're going to put on this top. So, all right. So we're gonna select a file and 
We're going to select Mountain's JPEG, but it's actually a Spaniard. Open. Upload. Slow down, you overwrote the file. And that is your flag, guys. That was easy. All right, task five, remote code execution. So it says navigate to show. All right, so THM, delete or write. Okay, it says answer questions below. Run a GoBuster scan on the website using a syntax from the screenshot above. What directory looks like it might be used for uploads. And it says this is a good habit to get into. It will serve you well in the upcoming tasks. Okay. So we're going to use GoBuster. Think as GoBuster to find out what directories are. So we're gonna use this command right here, or script. So, all right, let's do it. Go buster third-uhtp, oops, slash, slash. And we're gonna use our website. So it's gonna be shell dot Upload. Teach M dash. So slash USR share word list third buster third rectory dash list dash two point three medium wait dash medium text file all right looks like it works the example is upload assets and server status so we're going to check it says resources and assets so what we can do is check the link and that is the directory so we answer the first question which is what directory looks like it might be used for uploads and its resources so the next question is grab either a web shell or reverse shell on the machine what's the flag in the var www directory of the server hint it says use either reverse shell or web shell Upload it to the site, navigate to the HTTP, substitute in the correct directory, and name the show you upload it. So, as you can see, there's the web shells. Or reverse shell. So I'm gonna do the reverse shell. And it says you can download here, there's a link and goes to this G GitHub. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is copy the link. Let's close this out. So we're gonna end this and we're gonna get the link. So WG website get. Oops, I forgot to. There you go. Paste this. There you go, guys. And you list it. And that's it. It's the reverse shell, page three, right here. So it says you will need to edit, change the IP address to the try hack me. So it's that attack box right here. Mine says 10.10.121.86. So I'm going to nano PHP reverse uh, shell.php. And go down, you see the IP address. So 
so is 10.10.121.86. And you don't need to change the port. So we're going to exit. Yes. Change that. And then I'm going to open a new tab. It says netcat listener receive a connection NC. So we're going to just going to copy the NC dash LV. NP1234. So it's listening. All right. So go back to the website. We're going to select a file. And where is it? Documents. There we go. Select the PHP file, reverse shell, and upload it. And upload successfully. Then we're going to go. To the resource directory and voila click on the reverse shell and this should came up just like the example so we're going to change directory to var list and cat the flag there you go guys that's the answer Task six filtering. What is traditionally predominant server side scripting language? So these are the questions. If you read through the task, it's on the third paragraph and it says server side script will run on the server. Traditionally, PHP was the predominant server side language. So PHP. Next question is when validating by a file extension, what will you call a list of accepted extension whereby the server rejects any extensions not in the list? So we're looking extensions and on the extension paragraph about extension validation, it says blacklists are extension not allowed and whitelists are extension are allowed. So it's whitelist. And the last question is what MIME type will you expect to see when uploading a CSV file? Alright guys, when you see research, that means you can Google it. And it is text slash CSV. So text CSV. All right, guys, task six done. Uh, I'm gonna leave task seven to 12 on the part two video. So if you like this part one video, guys, please give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. Uh, I'm gonna upload this video today, uh, October 18th, right away. And Friday, I'm gonna upload part two, which is the last series of Web Fundamentals. And as you know, guys, uh, I do not have IT background, but this is something I like to do. And I hope you like my last videos of how I passed the A plus and the security plus. I think in the next video I'm gonna do the pen test. Well, I'm gonna do the CYSA A plus and the pen test because the next learning path is actually pen test plus. Anyways, guys, uh, till the next video. Thanks for watching.